things we just dropped Malia off for school and I asked Hannah I said what do you what do you need for Walmart Hannah tell them what you need for Walmart I said what do you need she says mama I need cookies I'm like, oh my goodness I have to pick up a few things and then we're heading home and we're doing some baby prep and kind of just cleaning up what else yeah, all the last minute things that I have not did, we're doing. Oh, the lights went out. Uh -oh, hopefully it didn't get too dark. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be a vlog. Another day in the life, y'all. Another day in the life. Okay, y'all, welcome back. Just made breakfast. Ooh, make some coffee, and I'm not even a coffee drinker, but I need some because we've been up since like 6 a.m. this morning, and I slept in a recliner. Yeah, recliner. So, you know, I got some sleep, but my back and the baby was just having a party. He was, you know, doing gymnastics. Or we have um, an Easter egg hunt that I'm gonna try to get to here shortly, but I was supposed to wash my hair. It's raining, so not sure if I'm gonna wash my hair or not but it needs to be washed it's been a few weeks um so we're gonna do that and then i have to do some more baby prep so you guys are gonna see me like wash all the pump parts and bottles and all of that and then um there's still some stuff upstairs that i need to do start putting things together for my hospital bag which that video will be going live hopefully soon um but i'm about to enjoy my food real quick and it's coffee and i did show you guys really quick what i got from walmart so I got Dr. Teal, some Epsom salt, fragrance-free. Um, definitely needed some of this. It's gonna help me with the Charlie horses I've been having, just soothing my muscles. Hana's favorite are these Kind Bars. I highly recommend they only have five grams of sugar in each bar, which is really nice compared to the leading brands that have a lot of sugar in them. So you get 10 and 10, they're 10 bucks. Um, so not bad for 20 bars. Restocking on those. And then I have, what else to be doing? Just some quick little, um, what do you call these? Some razors to take to the hospital with me. I also do like a little shed before. And then some, what are these? Liners for the shower. And then some uh, Their Breath. It's like oral rinse for my hospital bag as well. So that's what I got from Walmart, not too much, but just wanted to show you guys what I got. All right, y'all. So we are headed to the Easter egg hunt. Um, 
yeah, we're running like 30 minutes behind. But yeah. Um, so I'm meeting one of my mom friends out there. She said it's going well. It was raining, but now it stopped. So they said they're going to not cancel it. So it's still going on. So I'm a, or Hannah's really excited about that. I got myself together, put, put a little tinted moisturizer on, slick my hair back, okay? Put a little, you know, tinted lip gloss on. You know, I'm feeling cute, okay? Your girl's feeling cute. So I was like, let me get ready for the day and then um, head out here. Yeah, so we're just gonna enjoy this for a little bit, probably stay not too long. I need to finish baby prepping. I, again, baby could come any day. And also, I didn't share because it just started happening a few days ago. I've been having cramps. If you're a mama, you already know. So that's like a telltale sign. Next week, I'm going to get checked. And if I'm dilated and baby's like head down, which that's what we're believing for, they're going to do my membrane sweep. So baby could come next weekend. Oh my goodness. Or the first week in April. So we shall see. I'm really excited though, you guys. I'll keep you posted on that. Um, so yeah, we're just in route now. Wendy out there so we're back home it took so long there was so much traffic coming back home but um we're gonna make lunch really quick it was raining yeah yeah so I'm looking through so I'm trying to organize some of the cabinets so when I clean everything really quick I can put it up so I'm reorganizing I'll show you Oh, this is like medicine, kind of holistic stuff. Hannah's items, like food items, random stuff I need to take upstairs. Food from her kitchen that I need to take. And then, yeah, I don't, it has like really no organization. When we moved in, I tried taking these shelves to readjust them, but the clear parts don't come out. At our old place, they did. So it's kind of hard to put stuff in there like it has to fit perfectly or it just gets crowded and stacked and that's what's been happening so i'm gonna organize this and then figure out what needs to go over there in that cabinet um but i want you know the baby things to be accessible right in the front so still trying to figure all those things out but like I said, we're gonna have lunch. Easter egg hunt was cool. I guess we got there only, well, I guess it was like an hour late, but the Easter egg um, hunt had already went on. She did not really want to take a picture of the Easter um, bunny, which was fine with me, but the guy was like, oh, she can come out, which was kind of weird. But anywho, I was like, I just kind of left alone. Yeah. Yeah, blue eyes. Yeah, she was not a fan of which, which is fine. But we had a little outing today, so and it's gloomy out. So we're like, let's just hang out inside. Um, somebody's picking up Malia for me. Hallelujah. So I don't have to go out 30 plus minutes to pick her up and come back like we normally do. Um, so I'm like thankful for that. And uh, yeah, so we're going to eat lunch, clean up, more baby prep. And that's what we're doing. Y'all, this potato salad from Walmart is amazing. The double egg kind, and I don't even eat really potato salad or double eggs, but it's so good. All you do is just add a little pepper to it or a little spices. What? So good. So I'll have my sandwich with this potato salad, and it's about to be good. <laughs> I, I just, I just cookie. Just making a big mess? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. You're not? Yeah. I popcorn. Popcorn, okay. We're getting somewhere. I'm just decluttering all of this yeah, stuff I in here for Hannah's stuff, but also adding some of the things to baby. Mom, these, I this my, cabinet. My, okay. my gummies and my vitamins. Yep, you ate your gummies and your vitamins. Um, I just need to go through this up here really quick and 
take stuff out the dishwasher and put it in here or up here. I'm trying to decide. Again, I need to figure out where the baby stuff is going to go because over here, let me show you guys what I did. Kind of like reorganize this, decluttered, if you will. Um, not sure if this makes any sense, but right now uh, that's what makes sense right now. And then we have like baking stuff, back stock up there. So I have a little space here. Um, and then over in these cabinets, I'm still trying to figure out what, more like backstock can, again, we do a lot of beans, soups, just backstop. So if they have things on sale, I get multiple things. That's where this goes. So then I cleared all of this out and I'm like, ooh, what can I use that for? So I may try to do something from here and put it there. Not sure yet, but I want to show you guys my progress. I'm about to try to do the a little out of breath, but I'm about to do the washing all of the parts. I just want to declutter and then know where I'm going to put it at. So that's how I do when I clean and organize. I try to declutter first. That's a tip. Declutter first and then wash whatever you got to wash. Wash it on the cabinets and then put the stuff away, right? You don't want to put stuff up if you haven't like really decluttered because then it's just added more clutter. So I like to declutter, organize first, um, and then we'll be able to see what space we have, what we're working with. So... That's where we are now. Oh my goodness, I'm out of breath. Ooh, child. This one ain't taking a nap either, so we just we just rolling with it, okay? Solo parenting this weekend, so you know we're just not anything goes, but I'm not gonna stress myself out. Like we're just not. Okay, so I'm taking a little break and I'm drinking my raspberry leaf tea to kind of help prime my cervix. Not sure if it's really helping. It's been about a week and a half since I've been. I'm um, using it, but yeah, this is what we're doing. I'm taking a little break, y'all, because whew. parts are soaking I am going to um, put this stuff away so I have some milk storage bags the little um, drying rack I got some bottle brushes and then also Katana was on the event so I have these as well I'm just gonna throw them up here so I found an extra one of these bins so we're just gonna throw these in here for right now because I don't think I need these honestly um, right at the moment but and then here's the willow pump. I took all the parts apart. Um, this obviously you don't put in the submerged underwater. So again, this was given to me. It was gently used. So I am going to put it to use. Here are the little nipple brushes as well. Instructions, bags, and the charger. So this is really what I have left. I'm going to put also these. Figure out where that's going to go. Wash that. And then sterilize the... Um, different parts and everything like that in the on the stove <music>
Okay, you guys, so I want to show you really quick my updated bedside cart. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. Not sure if everything's going to stay in this spot, but the top shelf is everything I thought through. Like, what do I actually need at the top? I have my um, Stanley Dupe water cup. I'll have my phone in here. Um, what else? My glasses. And then here's a little dim light that has really came in handy. Me and my husband have been using it lately. Let me show you guys how it works. You do like the red light or the um, just regular, what do you call that? And it's actually somewhat dim for the most part, but I thought that it'd be nice for like diaper changes and you just do like two pauses and then it goes, it should go off. Okay, I guess it's not going off. It just did it, but um, I'm getting used to it. But so the little light would be in here and then some of my snacks that I need. Um as well as what else i just got these from amazon i need to wash them and everything but the koala silver cups never used them before people have suggested them so i am going to try them out um for my nips and then the mama's earth or earth butter um, nipple butter so i need that like right on hand as well as like my um my supplements vitamins snacks and then the baby Again, just like diapers accessible, boogies, that kind of thing. And then like if he has a stain, I need to use the messy um, spray. Down here, my body armor I just added, got from Sam. So not again, not sure if that's going to stay there. But if I need to sip in the middle of the night, I have that. Some wipes, some of his stuff, and then more um, uh, breastfeeding pump stuff uh, or more breastfeeding items so like the hot and cold breast therapy packs as well as the massage um tool there and then down here i made all uh well for the most part i made all uh pads postpartum my pump and then also a pad for the bed just in case the first few nights i'll actually add another one and then some milk um storage bag so i think it looks pretty good you guys i really like everything oh i forgot this so I have this on my registry. Someone bought it. Oh my goodness. This has been a lifesaver. So I'm actually going to probably just add it right here for the time being. Um, cause I actually use it now, but it is a neck heating pad for breastfeeding mamas. 
you already know how that can be um just like a lot of pressure on your neck it's painful especially if you like hunch over which i tend to do so i'm trying to like straighten up my posture um but it has really helped and again looking at the reviews before adding it to my registry and someone bought it which i was so thankful because it's helped much now and i know it's going to help when i start breastfeeding and just needing that relief a little bit throughout the night and the next morning so hope you guys like the little card and it's gonna stay here let me show you it's gonna stay over here let me move this out the way it's gonna stay here by my bedside so and again it rolls really nice compared to the other one so i think it sits really nice there what do you guys think nice right let me know if there's anything I'm missing. Like, again, this has been three years, but I did some research. Of course, so many mamas have this bedside cart. Um, but again, just thinking through what I actually need right by my bedside. So this is what I think I need. Um, again, I may change some of that. I need to take some of that to the bathroom. I'm not going to obviously use all those pads, but in the middle of the night, just grab one and then go to the bathroom um, and then also keep some in the bathroom, bathroom as backup. <laughs>
here's what it looks like. I did again wash it. It was gifted to me. Um, it was gently used. It's really nice. Y'all, I was struggling with that zipper, okay? Um, but it's just a little lounger. I think it'd be nice. It's really soft for him to like lay in, maybe take a nap in. Obviously, us being near him. But today has been full, y'all, okay? And I said that too. It's going to be a full day. And I still didn't get everything accomplished. Like, I didn't do my hair. But it's all good. I'm Hopefully, I can wash it tomorrow. Um, actually, no, that's not going to work because the track meet in the morning. I have to get her there by 6.30 a.m. No, that's not going to happen. Unless I do in the afternoon, like, once we get home. But, anywho, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Another day in the life. More baby prep. Um, I feel like I'm basically done like again let me know in the comments if there's anything that i need to do but i feel like everything is done like i said hospital bag video should be going soon with the baby bag another one or two more day in the life vlogs and then it should be baby time so appreciate you guys rocking with me um, i hope you guys enjoyed all of the nesting and baby prep i feel like there is some things i can probably still do i need to just like sit down and like think through everything but for the most part, everything is done. Like I need to do some postpartum, um, like make sure I have everything I need for postpartum, which I think I do. And then kind of add the things to the bathroom, which that'll probably be in the, another vlog. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm talking with my hands again. It's just what we do. I appreciate you guys. I'm thinking of y'all and I'll keep you updated with the baby and all the, all those things. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.